So this is the property that I've been talking about that I have listed right now in Niagara Falls. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the different cities that I'm looking at right now when I help my clients buy properties where they look at putting in a legal secondary suite or a legal basement apartment and the cities that I generally avoid. So two of the cities that I am currently focusing on are the cities of Hamilton and the city of Welland. Both of these cities are generally cooperative when it comes to putting in a legal secondary suite and they are relatively easy to work with. Both cities want that additional housing so they make it easier and they work with you when it comes to putting in the basement apartment. Some of the cities that I generally stay away from are the city of St. Catharines. Uh, I am currently in the process of doing a renovation on a property to put in a legal secondary suite. It has currently taken me already nine months. Um, timelines were delayed, a lot more costs involved than what I was hoping to pay uh, because you know the city, they're asking us to do a lot of things that generally most cities would not. So the city of St. Catharines is not a city that I would personally recommend put, putting in a basement apartment. This particular property is in the city of Niagara Falls. Now Niagara Falls is interesting. When it comes to putting in a legal secondary suite, if you're looking to rent it out separately, I would personally not recommend it because Niagara Falls only allows you to put in a legal basement apartment as big as 40% of the square footage of the main floor of the house. So in this case, it's a thousand square foot bungalow. You'd only be able to put in a 400 square foot apartment, which is a tiny, it's not even a bachelor apartment. However, if you're looking to buy a home where you want to live in the main floor and maybe finish off the basement into an in-law suite where you have family living there, or if you want to use Airbnb to rent it out short term, then Niagara Falls is a good place to look at as long as you're willing to stay in the upstairs of the home where you live in the main floor. So in the city of Niagara Falls, if you were to move out of the home, you aren't allowed to rent out both the basement and the main floor separately. So it does restrict some of your options if you were to look longer term after, you know, you've stayed in the home for a couple of years and then you move on to your next place. So just some things to consider. Again, the top two cities I'm looking at right now are the city of Hamilton and the city of Welland. Um, and the cities I generally avoid are St. Catharines and Niagara Falls when it comes to putting in a basement apartment. Though in these cities, I still am looking at other types of investment strategies that do still work here. So if you're interested in more information like this, I send out a weekly email to my clients um, where I share more information as well as potential investment properties that are available in these areas. So if you'd like to join that list, um, I have a link in the description below. Just fill out your email and uh, you'll get added to this weekly email. Um, and you know, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I'll be releasing more videos like this. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment below. I'll be answering any questions uh, as they come in. And until next time, have a good one.